Hello everyone, accept greetings from uh, Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited. Here we are once again uh, with another nice module, nice feature, nice uh, vertical, which is a car reservation system uh, inside the fleet management. Car reservation system is going to be helpful for any organization which uh, has cars within the company and they uh, normally assign the cars for the guests, for the employees. This could also be used for a, for a fleet company itself who either have their own cars or uh, they have cars on the contract. So let's see how this works. You can always configure uh, in the normal fleet management with the vehicles. They can have even contracts. If they are contracts, it could it means it's, a, it's all third party uh, vehicles. You can even assign the contract start date, end date, the information about the contract, when the invoice is supposed to be made, what are the various services involved, what are the recurring cost, what are the vendor and contractor or information can be uh, easily uh, put in. You can have the odometer as well, how much, how many miles, how many kilometers it has moved on, the fuel logs, how many times and what are the fuel, uh, so, so, uh, so many times fueled up. Uh, the vehicle service logs as well, how many times the vehicle has been uh, under crash, they has, it has been maintained, repaired and so on. There, there are costs as well. You can have the complete nice VI view. Now let's talk about the vehicle uh, status. Uh, it means it's about in shop, active, inactive or sold, it's, it's working as well. The best feature starts now. It's about reservation locations. Now, the main purpose of this video is to show that how the car reservation works. There is this, there is a first menu over the, over the top and this menu is a configuration. This configuration is going to give you a nice widget. Uh, the, here you can configure what are the common locations uh, your company deals with. Let's say for example, uh, from my company Serpent, uh, we are moving regularly to the airport or, or railway station. Let me move to the uh, railway station. I am just giving. So this particular widget is going to give us the location, the, uh, the longitude and latitude as well as the address as well. I will save the location. I can even manage to uh, show the other location as well. Oh, there is some concern. Let me refresh. It's on the screen. Fine. So what I can do is I can even uh, configure various, various other locations, the airport location from my company to my warehouse one, from one warehouse to another warehouse and so on. All locations can always be configured. Now let's go to the car reservation system. Uh, here the reservation starts like this. Let's open an existing record which is like this. It says that you can choose a vehicle, you can choose whatever, let's say when you have a guest in here, you are either picking up the guest from whatever location to here or you are sending the guest or maybe an employee from one location to another. You can choose that what is the, uh, let's say I will just to drop uh, this particular person to a specific location. Okay, then we can choose a vehicle. What, are, what is the vehicle we can choose? What are, who is the driver from the company and who is the employee? Either it could be an employee or it could be a guest. So uh, these are the options. So this driver will be taking this employee in this Audi car from Florence location to the Flushing Avenue location. If there is any description, if there is any uh, specific tip or uh, specific suggestion, we can always put in. This are the start time and the end time. This start time and end time will prove the occupancy of the car. So whenever the combination of the car and driver is already allocated within the time, so it, that it, it means the car is already reserved. That's the beauty of the system. So uh, when another reserve, another call for this car is given, it will prompt you that hey, the car is already reserved. You cannot allocate this car, so you can choose another car. If there is a workflow, you can have a, you can have an option to choose an approver. When normally the fleet manager is the approver, you can even choose any uh, particular approver here. The, will, the person will be doing the approve uh, of the car, they can be set to be done. So this reservation is going to help you in a very decent way. Let me try to op open up one record and I will going to I will be uh, choosing an option to uh, give you the reservation. Let me try one thing from uh, this location Florence, let me drop uh, this guy to company location. So I will choose the company location the beauty is you can even have an option to view the location from here as well so it's going to give you a nice uh, graphical interface with the google maps from here i can even choose the drop location as well when this particular application is logged inside the uh, mobile or uh, someone is using uh, the application within the mobile they can always uh, you know navigate from the source location to the destination location within the drop location now the best feature so far when the fleet manager is willing to check what are the occupancy of the car how busy is, are the cars they can choose from the look from the uh, duration from let's say i will choose a duration from let's say first january for example 
to uh, uh, 30th uh, December whatever is the date you can choose you can choose the list of vehicles so whatever the vehicles you want to check the reports of let, let me for now choose no vehicles so it will show the report of all the vehicles that we print it's going to give an XLS report let me open up the XLS report and it will show us okay what are what is the what are the results the results shows us that on these dates on this time the car were occupied by this driver or the customer or the employee so this is going to give you a very nice interface within the Excel itself to see uh, it's like again it's a occupancy chart you can see how much is the occupancy of what car and how is the current status of whatever car when it is occupied or not so this way you are always going to use the car reservation system uh, for you and uh, you can always uh, uh, discuss with us you can always ask us that whether you want any further support for this reservation system and you can even uh, let us know for any other customization as well thank you very much have a good day